I don't want I don't want a, a new gas car, man. I want a, another electric car. Well, I no, I have the, the electric one. Too. It is terrible. Yeah. So don't don't get the electric one. You say what? What you say? I have the elect the hybrid Range Rover. It's, it's terrible, terrible about it. Terrible. First of all, when you charge it up, guess how many miles you get? Thirty. Yes, thirty. Yeah. I looked it up, really? but they have a full electric 30. one coming out. It's supposed to be on the market by the, by Q4 2023. The full 30 electric. miles. Wrong. 30 one miles electric. 30 miles. So it's not worth it. And it's, the same it, I've had so many issues with it. The same so thing many. with the Jeep Wrangler. Jeep Wrangler has an electric hybrid one too. And it only gets like 30 miles to the to a You don't ever do the first electric anything mm -hmm. when it comes to a car. Wait. And then it switches to gas? Yeah. Yeah. So you really just have a gas car that like can kind of do, can kind of yeah. do electric. But it's supposed to be a yeah, hybrid exactly. too. So it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be more gas efficient than a a, a regular like Range Rover. Well, that's only because you could drive 30 miles without <laughs> gas. No, no, <laughs> right? that's, the, that's the electric part of it. The hybrid is supposed to like have a different motor. So it's it's going to have an electric motor a gas motor and then the battery so the battery is the electric part uh that's i mean so that's, the, that's, the that's the charging part the electric motor kicks in after the the battery has been exhausted the charged batteries have been exhausted and then it pulls on the electric motor and the gas motor to don't, get better it, gas moral model. of the story don't do it okay yeah, i didn't have no it. air for like a whole year in a range rover because there was a part that was connected to the charging that they couldn't get from anywhere but the UK, it was back order, all this stuff. I did not have air in a, in a Range Rover. I would, <laughs> never, I, would, car. I, would, I would never recommend Range Rovers just on the strength that they've always had electrical problems. Range Rovers, when Ford bought Jaguar, Jaguar always had electrical problems as well. Audi, if you're not leasing an Audi, don't get an Audi. Um, they just, have Asian, a lot of just get an Asian car. car. They're much better. Minus Kia, don't get Kia, but everything else, yeah. Get a Tesla. I don't get why everybody- Tesla's be having issues too because you always have to plan your life around finding a supercharger. That's not That's not really that bad. We're talking about having an electric car. It is car bad. Now. I've had, look, I rented one because I was trying to decide if I want to get a Range Rover or a Tesla. And then the Tesla was, I was like, ah, it's so great. But that's the only thing. You legit I, have I to plan around that. I can't say what it's like in Atlanta, but in LA, you don't have a lot of those problems because it's so- focus on climate change and everything they, they put everywhere. Them everywhere and the new like the new model threes and the new model y's um they're coming out and they're they have like up to 300 mile range now and you can get at a supercharger you can get 80 percent i think in like 18 minutes the new right. ones don't have that so it's good right but i'm saying that's uh, but la is not everywhere yeah, <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing california is uh, unfortunately the rest of the u.s ain't as fast that's true. isn't as forward with like climate change all that stuff but say i live in la and i have i charge the crib for like a trickle charge that, that's what they call it mm -hmm. but then i do like supercharging like two, like two miles down this way or another mile down that way like i mean they got them at the Burbank, they got them at the Burbank, uh, the Burbank mall and they also got them at the uh, the Galleria. They got a lot of superchargers, so you you good. But it's not even that. It's like, oh, I got a twenty minutes. Like, oh, I got to bake that into my day if I'm gonna be traveling. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, oh, I can just go get gas. Like, I have to bake in twenty minutes here to get my supercharge if you're gonna be traveling that day. Yeah, I hear what you That's saying. That's what I'm saying. It's not I as simple as just getting the car to go. It's an adjustment, but it's it's worth it. The money that you save. I mean, shit. When I just, I, I filled up the old school yesterday. And that was his eighty dollars just on that alone. God so, damn. I don't I don't miss, I don't miss you, gas at What's y'all gas? How how much is gas in LA right now? Premium is five ninety nine. Okay. I pay five sixty nine. Uh premium is five ninety five nine. And for some reason my um my goddamn rewards wasn't working at the pump with what when my rafts were rewards, I'm supposed to get like forty cents off a gallon. But it's not it's not every time though. It's not. It has to be when you're actually using your Ralph's card and you're going to the store and that's when it will reach out. It's not, it's not all the time. It's not, sometimes they'll be like. Yeah, it, it to hear if you use your rewards on potted meat, then it don't go towards gas. Mm, that was a roast. Look, 
You good thing here. What I'm about to say yeah. about this about gas prices. If I charge during peak hours, like where it's the most expensive, I pay probably like twenty nine bucks to mm-hmm. fill my car all the way up. If I go at like off peak hours, like if I go mm-hmm. after like a show, go at two o'clock in the morning, charge up real quick, a fill up is like seven dollars. Yeah, I know. We charge after peak hours at the crib. And Ferris Ferris car is maybe like eight eight or nine, and mine's is usually like fifteen. The the, mm-hmm. the trucks use like fifteen, but problems. <laughs> now we're gonna, we gonna, we gonna get to the these rich problems that you guys are having. Ugh. We were rich. We would very rarely be all here at the same time. <laughs> you richlings <laughs> with hold your. You I got a card. dollar amount where I'm finna turn invisible. Yeah. <laughs> I feel you. I'm about to get a bike. I'm looking at bike prices right now. I think that's... You feel like you have, that, I feel like you have that Ray J bike. You look like one of those people. What's the Ray J bike? You never said Scooty bike? Scooty? <laughs> yeah, Scooty bike. Ain't that just like a bird with a seat? Yeah, yeah it is, bro. With the with the medium uh medium well roast today. Her her roasts are very like <laughs> medium well roast for a couple more minutes so they can finish up. <laughs> She's like, you little rich that. Thing. for me to not be a comedian, I will take a medium a rare roast so that you'll give me you little well, rich I feel good about myself. Okay. You you guys are richlings. <laughs> what what bike you think about getting, Pat? A Vespa. <laughs> don't call that a bike <laughs> is that like a is that's that like a, a is, is that a bird oh, no, with a seat on it i want to i want i want an actual bike but i actually want to get a vespa now look at vespa, vespa you get like a bike. bmx it's a scooters that they use in the, in the uk hold on, hold on, it's in italy yeah, right in italy, yeah, i'm about to show you right now probably. that's All so right. fit your style though you get a little helmet where you can put your dreads out of it <laughs> <laughs> Out of it, out oh, the top, oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, bro. Yeah, I don't know why it made me want to do the Urkel dance. <laughs> Urkel never like, had he a have an accordion on the back. But remember, Urkel had that van, and I feel like that van, the front of his van, looked like a Vespa. Car, yeah. little... mm-hmm. It do look like a van a little bit. I feel like you would have a backpack on with a helmet. That smaller backpack too. He, Pat got a backpack that's this big, guys. It's not hey, crazy. this is He's this guy. What does it fit? Just an inhaler. It, it ain't no hoe. You know, what it, 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 it fits. It fits two inhalers and a GoPro. That's what he always got. That guy. <laughs> two inhalers and a GoPro. Yeah. Oh, now you got a new bag. Milk. Now I'm saying, <laughs> this is the uh, BlackBerry edition. You feel me? Laptop bag. Pat looked like that last place race card. I got all the uh, all the, the sponsorships. <laughs> I just picture no. that like on the Vespa going Ears. over a cliff, but we got a parachute on. Right. <laughs> what? Pat <laughs> get lost too much to only have a Vespa. He get he get lost way too much to only have a Vespa. Did he tell y'all about the time he got lost coming back from San Diego? This nigga went like an hour and a half in the wrong direction. That's not oh, true. Pat. That's okay. That's kind of true. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Yeah. Meanwhile, was, Pat got GPS his bag is like Pat got what is it? You know, like the little twenty five cent little wind up things you go and you get at the store at the front of the store. Mm. They be having like random toys in there. Oh, the ones that used to have the sticky hands. Yes, I feel like you have a bunch okay. of those different random toys in that bag. Uh, <laughs> the little bouncy ball you got the little sticky ball, hands the bike. from the machine. <laughs> Bro. Like you, you can make old the cartoon. ring size, you can make the ring either small or big, like you can clip it onto your finger. Uh, you remember in car- old cartoons when they used to run away from home and they'd pack yeah. bullshit, they'd pack yeah. like and a they put a bad <laughs> and they, on the stick. <laughs> hey, have I any of y'all ever tried to run away from home? Yeah. Like, yeah, I tried I to run tried away tried right there. What did I home. pack? I think I yeah, packed yeah. like my Nintendo, I packed like some fruit snacks. I packed some stupid shit. And I just got, I just got like, I got like to the I'm my mom to told me, I'm trying to run away from home. <laughs> my mom told me don't pack nothing she bought. So I had one pair of dress shoes and an oversized Easter suit with no shirt. That's all I was. <laughs> <in the bag. laughs> 
<laughs> oversized Easter shirt? My the oversized Easter suit, one my grandmother had bought. Where was you gonna wear that to? To here? Uh, that's what, that's that what, what I that's what I had to walk out the house with. Those barbecue and big besides. I just feel like that. No drawers, no nothing. My mama bought everything else. She literally waited in the room. She let me pack up, put on the suit, and then I took like some 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 books and some notepads. And she was petty. She wouldn't let me take no socks, no drawers, no nothing. She's like, no, nah, I bought that. I bought all of them. I was like, okay. Aww. My dad and said, well, let me know when you're ready so I can drop you off at the bus station. And I was like, oh. <laughs> See? <laughs> Wait, that's yeah. not how this was supposed to go. They had that. I wanted her to beg me to stay. My mom was like, my mom put me, she opened the door and put me out and closed the door. And I was on the porch like. <laughs> <laughs> hey, did you leave? If, did you leave the porch or did you stay there? I think I got to the driveway and I just felt so dangerous. Like, ooh, I could get killed now. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody could really hurt me. I was like, we get back in the house. It was just, I felt very vulnerable, man. Both of my siblings was in the streets. So they was like, you want to go out there too? But mm -mm, let me play with these Barbies. I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to sit. What time y'all want me to go to bed? Not nah, there. I'm in it. I'm in it. There. <laughs> I'm there in the bed. I am there in the bed. Hey, okay, you didn't ever try to run away? I ran away a couple times, but uh, it's funny because my older sister ran away once and she did what CP did, but she didn't leave the porch. She just kind of like put her bag down and sat there. And we had this like, <laughs> We had this like little window and we spent like mad time just watching her. And I was just like, I don't want to, tell. I like learned from that. I was just like, my parents be clouded. <laughs> <laughs> it was roasting. I'm like, look, 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 look at it, look at it, look at it. <laughs> Not like roasting, but like it was funny. <laughs> How long was she out there for? Not that long. It was dark too. So like she was. <laughs> Wait, where did hey. you go then, Pat, when you ran away? Um, I ran away a couple times. I went to like this uh, a plaza that had like a supermarket and all this stuff. And in my mind, I was like, "Oh, I have everything I need." Like, but then I was just like, "I didn't have no money." <laughs> so I I went back home. And then the second time, my mom like went outside and like saw us down the street and yelled at us, and we got scared. So I don't have any exciting story. Yeah. <laughs> the most I I tried to run away. I live in a building, so we I ran to the ninth floor, and what? I was like. Yeah, I was like, I gotta go home now. Like, damn, like gotta take the elevator back down. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you, going back to that, going back in is so humbling. Like, oh, uh, my parents own me. This, that's just, this is just what it is. I need, to I do need everything this. here. Yeah. <laughs> Come in all quiet, then you try to be good and shit. I'm so <laughs> dependent. <laughs> you be gone for five minutes, come back in. Like, I like what y'all done with the place. <laughs> <laughs> Is dinner still at the same time? <laughs> I don't remember it being so big. It's crazy. You still make them pork, pork chops like you used to? Hey, electricity is a saver. You go back in the house and flip the switch, you're like, ah, that feels nice. <laughs> I feel like kids nowadays don't run away because they're like, wait, if there's no Wi-Fi, like, where am I going? I need Wi-Fi this Man, whole trip. Uh, it's scary. They got GPS. They fuck around and start walking. You go, like, where the fuck you go for real? You know what I'm saying? Like, these my kids, they, my they're very literal. Away. They're run away. That's what I'm saying. Fun. I don't think these kids go anywhere. Like, they would she be like, oh, I got to go outside. She don't even want to go away. I'm not going nowhere. She don't even want to learn to drive, man. The kid don't she take an Uber to drive. She likes it. Yeah. She's got like, a kid running away, taking an Uber with his, with his satchel on the That's floor. hilarious. My Uber's outside, mom. <laughs> <laughs> Once we connected her to our account, she didn't waste no time. Like, if we, if we one minute late, it had been twice we pulled up to her school like two minutes late and she was getting in the Uber because we weren't out there when she when she got out of school. I'm just like, we gotta cancel this girl. She's getting, <laughs> she's getting wild. I had to wait outside until my mom came. I could not leave. I was right. not, she was like, she's not playing. I had to wait outside. It's I a six minute drive. I'm Yo, sorry. I was catching the city bus at 11 across town, like, my daughter's 11. I'm like, yo, I can't believe y'all was letting me do that. Like across right. town, like, and I would take a food stamp, go in the store, buy either a 25 uh, cent bag of Flamin' Hot Cheetos or a 25 cent pack of Winter Fresh. And then I would get three real quarters back, catch the bus with 50 cent, get a transfer with the 25 cent to get back. Mm -hmm. and, you know what I'm saying? You I had, had to pay for a transfer? Yeah. yeah. On the oh, you got a couple of Lucy's because you look like you did. You said what? 
buy a couple of Lucy's. <laughs> that's a, get that's a good one. Bus, that's man. a good one. That is a good one, cowardly lion. I like that a lot. <laughs> hey, you owe me 75 cents. <laughs> Damn, right, little kid, is that your voice? <laughs> Let me get a... <laughs> I need a transfer, a bus ticket, and a... And a, <laughs> and a, <laughs> and a Colt 45. <laughs> hey, I'm talking to old-ass men like, the hustle, right? Oh, boy. <laughs> The daily grind, am I right? But well, this is about as good a spot as us as any for us to jump into today's first topic. We're about to do that right now. Actually, right after this. Now a word from our sponsor, BetterHelp. There were plenty of times over the last year where I was just stuck in bad problems and bad situations, and I did not know how to solve them. It could be extremely tough to train your brain to stay in problem-solving mode when faced with a challenge in life. That's where BetterHelp comes in. After these past few years, I had to do something. I had to try something to get my mental back on track. Better help was that, and it was everything I expected and more. Therapy helped me slow down and process things a lot better. Also in a way to where I can benefit myself and benefit others. Being in therapy now, I definitely feel more like myself and way less stressed out over situations, way more confident in how to deal with things. There are different benefits to therapy, man. I'm talking about unloading your stress, emotional healing, helping with anxiety and depression. If you're thinking about giving therapy a try, BetterHelp is a great option. It's convenient, accessible, affordable, and entirely online. Get matched with a therapist after filling out a brief survey and switch therapists online at any moment in time you want to. So when you want to be a better problem solver, therapy can get you there. Visit BetterHelp dot com slash squad today to get 10% off your first month. That's better H E L P dot com slash squad. First topic of the day we have, would you rather find out how the pyramids were made or spend a day at area 51 with all access? E C C C. Here's the thing, right? If you spend the day at Area 51, there's a possibility you might find out how the pyramids was made Ooh. anyway. Mm -hmm. That's why, mm. that's God damn it, Lulu. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's but if you find out how the pyramids was made, that's only one thing. Yeah. But didn't they just confirm that for real, the Egyptians had slaves make it? That's what, I, that's what, what my concern was. If you choose that, it, there's a possibility of it not being like as interesting. It could be like, Oh, they were just really, really strong. <laughs> They're just like, oh shit. But Area 51 is confirmed to have like crazy stuff, so it's a way better bet. They just confirmed that UFOs was, oh, guess what? Real. We we shot a couple down. No biggie. <laughs> is it that they, they, they shot you a couple down? You didn't see the footage? Now? What? They released footage of, oh yeah, spotted UFOs. Under the, under, they was like, yes, yeah, unidentified flying objects. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm talking about like, them shooting one down though. I, I thought they, they, they showed got the video of that. them, and then they said that they shot a two down or something like that. But they don't have. I didn't hear about it. that part, nigga. You walking there? You that know shit what? Is. It gotta be. It gotta be real because here's the thing: Why on earth would the U.S. create space force? Like that to me is stupid. Such unless you name. really thought there was something you're defending yourself from in space, because clearly every branch of the military defends against something, whether it's water attacks, air attacks, land attacks. Now you got space. What is that? I feel like I feel like Space Force has some new weapons that we ain't, we ain't preview to as well. Like I feel like they got yeah. some uh -huh. like laser gun, like not a ray gun, like a laser gun. Because it's I got like a light those, gun. They probably don't like a light yeah, gun. Yeah, but like because like what are y'all taking? Y'all ain't shooting no gun in space, so y'all have to have some type of new technology to be light. Be Here go the thing. Efficient. Light phase Space Force. We need it's also America, able, though. We need to be able to travel at the speed of light, and I don't understand why they're not making that a priority. Only because what we gonna use what kind of uh, gemstones we got that's gonna let us go fast? What do you mean? Like, what, what do we have? We don't have nothing on there. Earth. That's probably why they need space force so they go find some some intergalactic hey, gemstones hey, that we up like there. That. So we just up there going slow. Man, yes. We just up there like Meg. You think we need Thanos and the Infinity Stone and able to go fast and and go to the speed of light? We don't have nothing here. We don't have no minerals that, that do you it. know of. That you know of. True. There's True. there's a whole other world of things. There's a, there's a whole sector 
of things that we don't know. We need to be also, going down to the ocean. That's probably where all of this stuff is, okay? Why we can't go to the North Pole or the South Pole? Why? What's over there? Why can't we go there, huh? I want to know. But all these minerals and stuff is just important to us. Like, what if aliens came and they wanted some stuff that was just regular to us? Like, they were just like, we came all the way over here for sand. We was like, oh, shit. We got hella sand. <laughs> and then that's the thing. You take away our sand, then what happens to the earth? What does, why, why does we sand? <laughs> what? You know what I mean? Does we You're hanging out with Tahir too much. Why, what? Why, why does we sand? <laughs> there would be no beaches, sand? so it's like a why steep drop off everywhere. What, why, 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 why couldn't it just, why couldn't it just be, why couldn't it just be dirt? Why couldn't we just walk up to the ocean? Why does we sand? It'd be, it'd be hella muddy. Ain't nobody hanging out at the beach. It's rock. It's just mud. But we don't right. need the beach to hang out at. We we probably don't need the beach that much. We could yes, have we could have concrete walk up and have uh, oh. the ocean come up with that. It wouldn't. I don't know what it would do. I don't get I why mean, we the beach sand. is more about the sand than the ocean. Right, and if you, and then there's also sand. As soon as you get in the water, if you, if you're saying there's no sand, that means legit you cannot walk in the water. And then sand turns into stone because of erosion or some shit like that. This and then we would just have rocky beaches, like if like it's other concrete, places. Then it's just a pool. <laughs> you want? You guys are pool? talking about the this beach for enjoyment. I'm saying like, do we need sand? Yes, yes we do. It because helps about it. What do you? The earth. Sand is one of the soils, man. You like that word, right? I just I don't know what I, let me let me. You Google. think we just what don't need sand? What too, is sand though? Sand. What is sand? It is it's, it's rocks broken as you wrote it down to little baby petals and shit. Do we yeah. need That's sand? Weird. So we're giants to the sand. Sand is rocks like stones. We're just like it's been rocks that have been ground down. <laughs> Damn. So it says sand is the second most used resource <laughs> after water. I just read that. I'm like, God damn, we need sand. <laughs> <laughs> you think? Yeah, Why they do use we sand, sand? They use sand to make bricks. They use sand to make it's like, water than glass sand. Too, right? They heat sand to make glass. They right. heat sand to make glass. Oh, yeah. oh. Who eats sand to make glass? That's how you make they glass. Eat. They blow towards make glass. They have to heat sand up. Oh, heat. I thought you said eat. I was like, damn, to here, that's not what they do. Uh, you can make the different kind of glass in your ass. You hilarious. Ass. He's like, oh, you have to heat sand? <laughs> you said heat? <laughs> On the beach right now. <laughs> well, I'm going to finish anyway. Evidently, evidently, we're already ready to eat sand like this. We're experiencing a sand shortage right now. Is a sand shortage? Yeah, they said that it could be in short supply. And then they're gonna go to the beach. I was just there. It's hella. <laughs> nah, you said, like I, you said. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. This new sand, sand don't be like as soft as it used to be. This new sand be a little like we at the bottom of the ain't got earth. time to be grounding it down. They be like, yeah, it's the bottom enough. of the cereal box. Like, this the sand. Is like, <laughs> 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 this feel like the first sand ever. <laughs> I mean, I mean sand. when I was new out here in LA, I took some sand from the beach, like to put it in a sock to use that as like a, a heating pad. Because, you know, you can heat sand up. They did a whole Whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute! You can heat yeah. sand up. Here, you just be out here doing shit, and I'm I, I don't agree. Right. I don't agree. Well, you just right. went down to the beach and like let right. me put sand in the sock. You listen, said that like listen, we all. Where did you learn this take, from? Take some yeah, time. I, just, I, just, I, I thought I thought I could do it. I saw I I took some with me. I, I layered the sock. It was like four or five layers of socks, and I heated it up because the sand will actually hold the heat. The only thing is, the sand gonna smell like the beach when you heat it up. Are you trying to eat it? No, I just as a heating pad, Lou. Like for your no, I'm, I'm saying, like, what possessed you to go? Ooh, like, what frontiersman did you see do this? Where you Why were would like, you oh, not I buy this, some like, clean sand? Why would you Larry, not buy yes. some children's sand? Because this sand was free, and I was already at the beach. So and I then you said it, it, who it started smelling like that? Santa Monica. The idea, the idea hit me. When you I was using it as a heating pad. <laughs> huh? You using it as a heating pad? Yeah, like for your neck or legs or something you like that. You know, you could just take a wet. Towel and throw it in the don't microwave. hold the heat as long, Lou. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The sand holds the heat a lot longer than you a also got heater pads that, that you can plug in. Y'all yeah, try the shit. It. Just try the shit and see it works. But I, you I said it smelled like the beach after, after, right? It smelled like a thousand asses been on it and feet. Who cares? Unless you're trying to eat. Unless, 
To hear over here putting meatloaf wrapped around his sand heater. Like, why does it to, matter if it smells like the ocean to here unless you try to eat something? You no, took a bunch I of pissy like ass sand from a fucking spring break. It probably was literally 17,000 asses and feet on this sand. You took it home and put it in your microwave. To hear there was, when he poured it out, there was a condom in it. And a, and a crack pipe. Oh, God. <laughs> I never thought I would say this, but like your house doesn't seem like a safe environment for 7 Eleven hot dogs to go to. 7 Eleven hot dogs is like, hell no. Hell no. We won't go. Hell no. Like Sandy here. Hell no. We won't go. Hell no. We won't go. You smell like Sandy here. Did you just roll like a hot dog? Yeah. All right, cool. Let's vote. <laughs> I reached for the hot dogs. They're like, no, 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 no. They saw you coming. You, you did it again. You like one of them Costco chickens when you just did that. The best part is like, why was the why was the hand? I was arm up like this. <laughs> he was trying to be straight, but little damn be a hot dog like dog. this. You are a he was proper trying to be a hot dog, extra long bro. hot dog. The ballet long. hot dog, huh? Yeah. Oh, the Nathan hot dog. Yeah. You don't want no ballpark. You don't want no short oh, stubby man. hot dogs. Hey, do you guys but, like Dodger dogs? Those ones that like I hate. Like I feel like if if it's not the same size as the bun, it's weird. Like when it's like spilling out. I never yeah. had that. The, you, you know what I don't like about them? They're just like the color of them would be too light too. Yeah, we look at the color. It's like this is like gray. Like what the fuck am I really? <laughs> Wait, so the hot dog is more than the bun? It's yeah. longer yeah. than the bun. That shit. Yeah. Would hell, you might. Yeah. You just eat there. Bites. You just sitting there eating uncircumcised. Eating, <laughs> like, just. Three bites of glizzy yeah, before there's yeah, any three bread. Three bites of raw, unadulterated right glizzy. Before <laughs> oh, don't call it the tip. Why y'all, why y'all make it weird, bro? Why y'all make hot dogs so weird, bro? Stop acting it's like literally everybody meat was fucking with hot dogs like when we was kids. Everybody was fucking with hot dogs when we was kids, and now y'all have... And that's what's wrong with us. That's why bro. we are the way we are. I understand to hear why didn't they home. make the hot dog a patty? That's what a hamburger. It would have been so much... No, that's not a hamburger. That's a hamburger, but a fucking uh, a hot dog should have been a patty. Because a dog is long. It's short, dog. <laughs> Love those dogs. Yeah. <laughs> That's your rebuttal? It's short dogs? You ever see that little dog that obviously is inbred? It's like all chest and ass. It'd be running around like these little, like, you gotta look it up. This is a list of dog that's like scrunched. So and it's like, it it's, it's weird, too, because I saw this Pepsi commercial the other day, and it was a black dude, and, it, and he starts off, like, on the grill, and at the end, it's him holding a hot dog, and he's like, and she's like, what you doing? He's like, I was like, why y'all get a black dude a hot dog, man? Why y'all yeah. give, <laughs> give him the hot yeah. dog? That's, that, that type shit made me want to set an arrow on fire and be like, where's he at? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta leave hot dogs alone, man. Hot dogs ain't done nothing but feed the streets. Y'all always talking shit about them, man. Hot dog. Hey, would y'all eat a hot dog uh, for a commercial? Yeah, Absolutely. I'll... Okay, so wait, second part of the question. If you saw on the call sheet you were Glizzy Gobbler, <laughs> that was that was the, that's who you were. That was that was your script. I'm getting the bag and I'm eating for free, nigga. And I'm gonna get you know, that name shit. on my shirt, on the back of my shirt, like a. Wait, dog. hold on. Is it like written anywhere, like on in a commercial? Or it's on, it's on the it's on the back of your director's chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll do it. Nobody else is gonna see that. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna get a shirt made. I'm gonna get a picture of me eating the hot dog from the hey, commercial. I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm not gonna do. Shirt. I'm not gonna fuck up my IMDB with that bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's the biggest commercial you ever done. It goes international. He was Yogi. He was there. He was Glizzy Gobbler in 2023. Like, nah, G. Nah, G. You can always you know, take it off. random all. list is hilarious. <laughs> you can always take it off. Everything ain't gotta be in your IMDB. You he played himself. Off. Then he played the Glizzy Gobbler. It's like, all right, fam. <laughs> no, it says himself slash Glizzy Gobbler. <laughs> Y'all be hating on hot dogs. Don't you? Himself, Glizzy Gobbler himself. Frederick Douglass himself. <laughs> then it'd be like, at the time, it'd be like method actor. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's horrible, man. <laughs> How how did you get hey, listen, do you imagine food. somebody at the actor studio? So how did you get into Glizzy Gobbler exactly? 
Let's talk about the head. You go, well, you know, baby, prep. <laughs> do I gotta spell it out for you? <laughs> y'all ungrateful. That's what it is, y'all ungrateful. Whew. That was a question. Coach to hear more. He is a professional gobbler. <laughs> Would you study that near him? <laughs> hey, what if Marvel offered you guys a superhero role, but it was the Glizzy Goblin? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Glizzy Goblin? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Dude, they had it. That's like the boys. When that dude was so little, he, he ran up in that dude. Did, did y'all see that? Yes. Oh, yeah. But instead of the goblin mask, it's just like a goblin mask full of glizzies. Like it just glizzies hey, man, all over. You. Like make, you, you, it has you, a you, horn you. of glizzy, like a... Like, you can change the scenario to whatever you want. Right here, like a horn. Change the scenario to whatever you want. I'm still eating the hot dog, my nigga. Like I ain't, I ain't turning my back on the street. So here we eat a hot dog. If that bitch twitched a little bit, he'd be like, wait, 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 wait for it to die. <laughs> that means it's fresh. That means it's they ain't fresh. Ain't bullet good enough. They ain't bullet good enough. Wait for it to die. Give it a couple seconds. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you gotta smother these bitches. Give it a couple seconds. Let's put, let's put it to a vote. You ungrateful bastards. Let's Area 51. Area 51. Area 51. Area 51 as well. Unanimous with the Area 51. We're going to jump right into this next topic right after this. Next topic of the day, we have which one you get to bring one iconic Black show back? Would you bring back Living Single versus Girlfriends? Hold on. Question. <laughs> the wizard got funnier do? and funnier. <laughs> 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 Bring back living single or girlfriends. <laughs> Can I go? Right. <laughs> Is this violent? <laughs> Sorry, man. I, I don't know. I feel, I feel like it should have been like living single in another show. Well, I was going to ask you, hold on. Is this, when you say bring it back, you're saying bring it back exactly how it was. The actors like are all, all the same the as they were then. Yeah, all the actors have signed back up. All the actors have agreed to come back. And the show basically is going to pick up where it's left off. Oh, like living single friend. versus like the Jamie Foxx show or something. Overton just don't hit the same no more. You know, you'd be like, oh, this thing is kind of crazy. You know what I'm saying? We're, we're living in a different world now. You know what I'm saying? These kids would be Sinclair like. Sinclair was more crazy than, than Overton to me. Who? Sinclair. Her too. They was fucking in the show. See, yeah. that's, I like girlfriends because uh, that story could age better. I feel like that story, what they were on for kind of professional women. Uh -huh. They could go, you know what I'm saying? Like that kind of matches content that we see today. Yeah, really? and I feel like if they can get older, they will still be like a group of four friends, but like it's a little bit different when you think about the living single cast as they get older. Like, y'all still live in the same apartment building? Y'all still right. y'all still roommates? Like hey, niggas be niggas be when you find a good apartment in New York, you keep that bitch. You know I mean, it's a brown right, right, but like at this point they'd be like there. 60. So it's, it's like no, but it's the brown zone. Like, somebody could be upstairs, somebody could live on the main, somebody could live in the basement, like. And they you all just come over to that person's house. They all just chill. No, but that's house. not how it was. You remember Regine and um, what's well, her name? Regine got I, married. All I said, and then all she I said was that all the actors then... agreed to come back. I didn't say the storyline had to be exactly the same. Just all the actors. Ooh, should, all why would the storyline be different if they all came back? That's why I was asking. What well, if I mean, it was it living be... divorced? You said that'd, that. be, that'd be a cool living divorce. I would watch that. <laughs> You'll do better in the next life. <laughs> Some boy standing to my left, am I right? True blue. Like, like. We are living. I mean, to be quite honest, I, I'm going to be real, real honest. Um, I haven't seen that many episodes of Girlfriends. Same. Me what? Me either. I, 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 I have not watched it. I've not watched a full season. Amazing. I've seen a couple episodes here and there. I guess I was just too young at the time to understand what the fuck they were going through. Because it's all that thing, whatever they were going through, just made no sense to me. And I was just like, oh. I've, I've never seen a full episode of Girlfriends. I've seen, I've seen half of one. It was one when one of the girlfriends was talking to Tracy Ellis Ross, ex-boyfriend, and they were living together, all that type of shit. But that's the only real one that I've seen a part of. I, I, I just remember old boy from Juice is in it. Huh? Um, boy from Juice. What's his name? The one that got shot. They all got shot. 
No, the one that got shot by Pop. No one that, got shot by Pop. Only Steel and the other dude got <laughs> shot by Pop. Raheem, Raheem, Raheem. 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 Yeah. yeah. Raheem was on yeah. that shot. She okay. said the one that got shot by Pop. <laughs> Well, more than half of us have shot my man from Riverside. Remember? He ain't just shoot still in uh Raheem. He said he was a Riverside motherfucker. But but he oh did he shoot him? Or did Joe yeah, he shot that nigga? Yeah. Caught him in the alley. That was oh, the yeah, first guy he shot. Right. The mice can do the Puerto Rican dude. No, that's the second dude he shot. First dude he shot was Raheem. Mm. Caught him in the alley after they robbed uh old man Quillis at that at that yeah. store. Yeah. But then with, with Pac had the juice. You got the juice down. And that nigga who was fucking with him, he put that knife in his nose. He's like, Riverside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, th three of us haven't seen girlfriends. girlfriends like that. Let's switch it. Yeah, that's what I said. It should be another show. Girlfriends uh, was good. I have seen girlfriends. It, it's a classic uh, show. It was it was it, it, it was created by Kelsey Grammer. It kind of had the same mm, beat and he didn't kind of it. feel as Frazier. I know he didn't create it though. Kelsey had a he had a deal. With the network, and he needed a show to fulfill that deal. And this show was already ready to go. And he read on the script and liked it, but he didn't create it. The show okay, was well, like, he he had the same vibe, though. He yeah. put his name on I, it. And I, it put, I put girlfriends against Living Single because the cast was somewhat similar. They had the four ladies, and then they had the guy, and then Living Single had the the ladies, and they had two guys. So that's why I put Living Single against uh, girlfriends. I just feel like this stuff going on in Girlfriends was way more realistic than the stuff going on in Living Single. What? You didn't have a, a newspaper uh, <laughs> company? You don't know nobody with flavor? You didn't know nobody? It's not even that. It's like just the life stuff that was happening. One friend had a baby. One friend had was going through a divorce. You know, another friend like had to deal with, uh, you know, they were dealing with dating. They dating a white no man. Job. Having a baby. Losing a baby. Like it was just I just more. realized. I just realized. Flavor was probably like a bootleg ass magazine, huh? Like if it was a major magazine, she'd have been way more paid and kind of. So Flavor was like a, it was like a black a fucking, uh, It was like a little watchtower, huh? <laughs> it was a. It was like a a a, a vlog, like a, a blog, like it was like it's like when Complex first started out. You know, you flip it over, you got a whole new magazine. The whole thing is sixty pages, front to back. And then it's a it's a it's a menu on the inside, like you know, what I'm saying they they're sponsored by <laughs> a little Chinese restaurant down the street. Uh, open your flavor magazine. <laughs> yeah, there's a coupon at the back of the magazine. You feel me? <laughs> All kind of shit. You could buy ads in the back. People, be like, congratulations to Dante for graduating. You can buy love in the back too. You can put like little help. I'm a, I'm, I love living love 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 single. I'm always gonna root for living single though. Always gonna move and live single. I didn't love it like that. I watched it, but I didn't really love it like that. Really? I was like, man, this is, I, I didn't love it. I didn't love I didn't, it. I didn't love either one of them. I really like girlfriends. I ain't gonna lie to you. Maybe I need to watch it again as an adult. I just, I just that's when I really I started like liking Tracy Ellis Ross. I was like, damn, she's kind of, if you look at her long enough, she's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so if you glance at her, she's not that bad? She kind of looked like when Michael Jackson turned to a zombie and Thriller a little bit. I thought the, the Wiz Michael. Seer. I thought he was going to say like the Wiz Pat, Michael. what you doing over there? Seer. Pat, don't turn your face, Pat. Pat, don't turn your face, Pat. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. That's, what you doing? That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. Is it crazy because it's accurate or is it crazy? No, it's not accurate. What? You can't see that? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Like a she dead Michael pretty. Jackson. I don't know what she's pretty. But 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 no, nah, she's pretty. Y'all got the same like exact eyes. CB. They have like these zombie eyes right here. Like like they saw the app. That's like, what I your eyes, eyes are like. I don't I understand. Guys, that's the same eyes. You're Why you eyes? eyes you know that? Eyes. You think I'm eyes? I think you're an eyes. I'm not eyes against anybody. I'm eyes? just sitting here. It's kind of like bias, but you're eyes. I'm not eyes with anybody <laughs> at all. As, as somebody I, who, I who gets ridiculed about their eyes, I would expect when I, more than when you. I, oh, when I when I first saw her, I was like, oh man. That's like when I said Rihanna looked like Frankenstein. Did you see before we all saw baby. her? It's called self-hate. Hold on, wait. You said Rihanna looked like what? Self-hate. Rihanna, Rihanna looked like Frankenstein <laughs> and Halle Berry had a kid. Oh, no. You Frankenstein and Halle Berry? No. The, the hair, hair shape? 
Her head shape and then Halle Berry's beautifulness, but the head shape? No. She got a Frankenstein head. I'm a work, 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 work. You did. <laughs> Why did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, thank you for Halloween. I'm gonna be a Rihanna Frankenstein. That's what I want to be. All thank right. you. Funny, because anyone who's never watched this show is gonna be like, "What? <laughs> oh, <you're>... <laughs> <laughs> no, very beautiful you're Frankenstein, funny. but Man, Rihanna. Look. You know how many fine ass women got an ugly head? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, you're Frankenstein, but Rihanna. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Lulu's drunk. Ch check on her. <laughs> Step out of the car, ma'am. You, Frank and Rihanna. <laughs> she was talking to the police. <laughs> Frank and Rihanna. Work, 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 work. That's how I'm Thank going down the line. Please. But he's like, hey, ma'am, I just have to do that. Work, 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 work. <laughs> Get out of the car, ma'am. <laughs> That's hilarious. No. All right. What was the question? Does Rihanna look like Frankenstein? <laughs> had a baby with Zoe Saldana. No. Okay. The question was, you bring your back, living single versus girlfriends. Which one are you thinking oh, with? Oh, oh. Living single. Uh, girlfriend. girlfriend. Living single. Ooh. It's up to me. You were married? No, I said girlfriends. Said, she said uh, girlfriends. And then CP said... I said girlfriends. Come on, Lou, what's up to you? Oh, I said living single. Kyle Barker. Maxine Shaw, attorney at law. Flavor Magazine. Protect black women. What? Then you gotta pick girlfriends. I was about yeah. to say, that kind of doesn't work. Protect black women in their small companies. Then you have to pick girlfriends. Wasn't one of them a lawyer? Yeah, yes. Tracy Ellis Ross. Tracy Ellis Ross. Lawyer. Her character was. Well, there was lawyer. lawyers on both shows. Mm hmm. Uh, well, I Living Single was cool, but I think I'm going to try to watch Girlfriends and maybe it, it can hit home. So, because I'm single and I'm a woman and, you know. I don't have no girlfriends, but maybe I can be inspired to get some. Oh, some girlfriend. oh, girlfriend. oh, well, girlfriends, they be fucking. Uh, wait, wait hold on, Lula, you don't have girlfriends? Mm -mm. Lula, that's like not any that you like grew up with. That's like your homegirls. Oh yeah, but they're not here. Lula, okay. We try, we try to hang out with you. We invite you out to every uh, event. You be listen. I live a different lifestyle than you, right? You be trying to party at 9, 30, 10, 1. I got to get up at six a.m. You to go said to nine thirty. <laughs> I'll be in the bed by 10 30, 11. I'm Lou, tired. You be, you be gaming at 9 30, though. Exactly. I'll be at bed. home, though. <laughs> and I get paid to do that. You exert so the I'll same amount of energy. You be exerting the same amount of energy nah. yelling at the screen. Because then when I, I don't like to drink anymore, I don't like to party like that no more. So then everybody be watching everybody else be drunk and everything. No, we got a smoking section out front. We got a smoking section out front. Out front? I could yeah, go it's, a guy that through, he, it's a guy that goes through the club. He has pre rolls. He has rollers. He got everything you need. I could do that in my to house. Hear, to, hear. to hear Lulu has reached that age that every black woman reached, where they you have to convince them that coming out of the house is worth it. I've yeah. seen it all the time. Because I got to get dressed. I got to put makeup. I got to do my hair. I got to find an outfit. And I got to be really wanting to go out. And then you, you be having themes. Like, nigga, I'm not doing no theme. Pajamas, nothing. I don't even want to put on my own pajamas. You put on pajamas. Right you already ready for bed. No. I was about to say, I, I how you too lazy to get on pajamas? <laughs> First of all, I got Skims pajamas, right? I'm not putting on my good Skims to come outside to be around a whole bunch of people brushing up and touching on my. I don't know. Then wear right, regular man, we, pajamas. Right, fine, fine. Girlfriend oh. takes this one. We're robed in. That tr trigger something? You just want me to wear a robe out in these streets. I'm sick of your shit. You gonna get you know, Just send me an invite for like five o'clock in the afternoon. We could do something. Get the fuck <laughs> off the All right, we're gonna the girlfriends has this one. We're gonna jump into this last topic right after this. What's worse? Holding in gas at, while you're getting a massage versus holding back burps at the dentist. Yo, what's worse? Always That's worse. worse. Dentist. 
Farting will always be worse. That's methane gas you putting in the atmosphere for somebody but, to breathe. But that's the thing. If you go to a good masseuse, they already know. They expect, they're like, it's going to happen. Right. Whatever, whatever. If you got And you don't think the dentist feel like that? The dentist know that too. <laughs> Burping in the dentist's face is hilarious. Though. That's, that's crazy. disgusting. <laughs> but they usually have a mask on. But they the dentist is always asking you questions though. The like the masseuse not asking you to open your ass. Well, I don't know how y'all do. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> then always open, asking you open like, your ass, please. <laughs> the, the, then be like, right. So how you be like, ah, you know what I'm saying? But they already know when they give you a massage, the pressure and you know the motion of <laughs> that must be on you. But you what if it's like a really to... like it's one of those stinky ones? Like you'd have to go poop, but you didn't. Okay, make no, it. y'all didn't say it was all of that. But I'm saying you don't, but sometimes you don't know. Like, what if it is that? That is well, the worst. It has to be the worst of each. It has to be why like y'all, a, a, why a nasty y'all assuming part that a it's a professional birth. massage, though. This is the nigga you like massaging you. You don't want to fart. Now what? No, that's uh, not. No, they both have to be professional. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't go to no a dude around the corner and it's a professional <laughs> dentist. Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. It's like you're a homie, like if I could take care of that for you. you I could take care of that. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna pass New York, though. I ain't gonna do that. I ain't gonna, uh uh-uh. uh. Hey, man, fix this cavity for me, real quick, bro. Hey, use your tools. Use your tools, real quick, bro. I'd rather burp, even, even, even though that's weirder. I just feel like. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Farting, yeah, because if you, y'all dentists always have something on their face. So Not it's kind of like semi a shield. Burping is more socially acceptable. Like you can burp in a restaurant as long as you try to cover your mouth and you say, excuse me, no right. one bats an eye for real. But if you just let some shit rip, and, and but you and just said this is the worst of the worst, so it's not gonna be your nice little oops, excuse me. <laughs> this is but a still, yeah. but still, I still think that burps are more socially acceptable than farts are. <laughs> remember, remember, remember when Sherman Clump farted on Honey Professor when he was having that daydream about being a giant, and then <laughs> the long one, his 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 sweatpants was like. <laughs> <laughs> So that it has the fart has to at least lift the the sheet on you a little bit. Ooh, <laughs> and go like that. The sheet lifter. <laughs> that's, no, that's even worse because you know when you like fart under the covers and this well, trap. Yeah. It's so gonna you can't even out. hide it. But you good because you you got the circle through the table. So yeah, but he's massaging you back and he can see it going. Oh, boom, you boom. are yeah. good. You like oh man, hope it ain't bad up there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, when you got your face on the thing, you'd be like, that wasn't me. <laughs> what, if you, what if you stopped feeling the massage and you turned around and you was on the floor? <laughs> <laughs> he passed out? Hey, what if you came up and the police was there? Like, this him? <laughs> you like, huh? What's going on? <laughs> uh. They got to call the police on your ass. I feel like even if a masseuse is professional, it's still got to be a little funny. Yeah, it's like it's such a it's such an intimate environment. There's probably candles and like flutes playing and stuff like that, and they probably know when it's coming based on where they press. It's probably like little fart pressure points. Mm-hmm. Wait, have y'all seen on like Instagram different? I think they're like ads on like the, the shade room or whatever. But it's the dudes that are doing like the most sexual massages, but they're yeah. like professional masseuses. I did one. Did you? How was it? Was you like, so what's your number afterwards? Or like, hey, was it like that? Or was it like, oh, okay, man, you. ain't no, uh, what's your Lulu, number? Lulu, Lulu got a happy end and then a happy middle. She's like, oh, this, 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 this. <laughs> he said, he I knew it. A little bit of extra in the massage. I yeah. knew they did that. There's I, no I, way. I, I mean, it's an erotic massage. Okay. Right. You come for the whole experience. And he gave me the full experience. Wait, what is the whole experience? Dick. No, I didn't get no dick. I didn't get oh, dick. Okay. I didn't oh, I thought that's dick. what you meant. Oh, never mind. Wait, no, wait, no, no, okay, wait, wait, wait. Afterwards, he was like, hey, what's up? You know, I'm like, no, nigga, I just paid for this. I'm not going to be your, we're not going to go chill after I just paid for this. Man. I always thought wait, it was wait, like, Hold on, I need to know this, Lulu. Is this like tongue? Are you writing fingers? notes? Keenan, get prepared to take this out, please. Also, uh, continue, Lulu. 
<laughs> uh, he gives you it's like an erotic massage he uh, massages like your she whole want to know did he eat your ass or did oh. was did... it was, oh, so it was just the finger little... situation huh it was just hands and fingers situation the nigga yeah. brought a rose no, he that's had nothing. a rose no i think he was like he was the rose it was like he was the rose like he did a move where uh i i, I sat on him and he was massaging my back and like my butt at the same time. But it was more like, I was like bouncing on him at the same time. And he was massaging and bouncing at the same time. And yeah. Let me look I told up, him, you gotta change your uh, shoes, Let me look up the, uh, the, the tuition. I'll send you who it is. I'll send you who it is. I'll go ahead and get my motherfucking Send it to me, girl. Send it, send it to you, girl. Cause he was the best. He was amazing. <laughs> He be in Atlanta too, so he, he travels. So he go Did to Atlanta, Miami. Deal, he got it in Atlanta? Oh Lord, that's like that's like getting the, uh, one of them. Never mind, let me start. No, he travels, he's not from, he goes to different states. So he came to LA, he went to Miami. He does it like different states, he's a, he travels, so. Okay, so you only got one, Lou? You only got one? Yeah. It was too much. I got in the car. He I was like, a what punch the car. fuck happened? You got a punch car with seven holes in that bitch right did now. He like, did, was there like <laughs> consent for this? Was he like, hey, so I'm about to do this move? Or it was just like, at any, like, what was the. I mean, the moves ain't nothing crazy. He's giving you a massage. It just has what moves. I'm saying is, is there like a moment where he's like, hey, if you feel uncomfortable, tell me to like eat up. Like, that's what yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. I should yeah. tell you about this. But you know part. what you're coming for. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. So I'm about to say, are you coming during this? <laughs> I did. I told him, I was, you gotta change your sheet, bro. He's like, I know. I was like, I got. Wow. I know. He's like, yeah, I know. I was like, yeah, okay. Just letting you know. Wow. That's, that's a wild thing to tour for. Wow. That's a. I got in the car. I was like, what the fuck happened? I feel like men have always had like happy ending massage places they could go to. And now we got these little dudes that be traveling. I and ain't never no feel like that. Room. I feel like the day you go in there is the day that a sting got braced and happened. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Just, he was I very just, professional. No, like when he like when I was sitting on him, he put a pillow, <laughs> so I wasn't like on him, on him. So he mm -hmm. like was very professional. But that shit was amazing. I'll do that shit like every week if I could. But no, I felt like a whole new woman. I felt like a new person. I was oh, <laughs> that's a that's a wild thing to just be like, all right, thank you, thank you for your tip, and then just leave. I just oh, I tipped the fuck out of him. I was like, I'll take my money. I just Thank assumed you. it was like sure a little, you it was the like a too. Thing. <laughs> he, he, like later he was like, you want me fly you out? So you, I'm in Miami, you want to come to Miami? I was like, no, nah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Let's just keep it how it is. <laughs> I wonder how rare that is. I don't that's, care. It's got to be rare too. So let me I felt special out. at the time, Lulu, okay? Lulu, nigga, only client ever. He like, man, that's why I did all this shit, man. I was like, <laughs> she gave me two weeks man. It was it all works. a setup. It works. I love her. I'm in love with her. <laughs> she let me massage her back and her ass at the same time. <laughs> I'll send you the video because I, I told him, I was like, that ain't the move that you did on Instagram. He's like, yeah, I did a little extra. I was like, ah. Uh. He was freestyling. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga freestyle on me. That nigga shit. All right, now I'm gonna do this elbow drop. Let's see if sit like this. <laughs> you turned around, he's on the turnbuckle. <laughs> <laughs> he did the genuine? He was like, <laughs> I think genuine said. <laughs> Wait, why is, why is genuine such a bobblehead now? What's going hey, on with the head? He got the head he like. He used to do that time. move back in the day, but it didn't look like that. Oh, that <laughs> was a. What did he, he do that move? That was a signature move. No, the one where he sat down. Oh, the one where he sat down, just pushed himself up, and it was like, wait, which one? Which one was? <laughs> he like held himself up. <laughs> he like. like no, I did, but I didn't know he did the bobble at the end. Oh, he did. He, oh, he bobbled like he a went. motherfucker. <laughs> he that nigga be looking like a snake. <laughs> That's crazy. The <laughs> internet is not doing these older uh, R and B Dave acts Lowe. very, very Jeez. nice. He hey, was man, so sexy want, back in the day, and then you see him now, fun, bro. I don't even care. Like let him, let him just have fun. Niggas need to have fun now. That he don't even put like no it. real effort into his moves, and he be acting like he killing though. That's my problem. <laughs> That's the problem. Here's the, he thing, like, here's the thing. He's older. He's significant. You can see yeah. Maxwell was doing this type of shit. 
Like, Maxwell still got moves he, though. Oh, he does not. Yes, lose. he do. He got energy. He be like, he eh, does not eh, lose. Eh. Maxwell yes, he do. Maxwell did some shit like but this. But Maxwell wasn't known like for his. Was never known for his moves. Exactly. Was genuine. Yes, like he, he had, his dancing Tony. was like significant for all his videos. He was the dancing king with the umbrella. My pony. The, who was it? The umbrella and the trench coat yeah. jacket. Yeah. Always you know, not a dance move. Y'all were just captivated. When a nigga take the bottom of his jacket and whisk it back like that, that's, that's not a dance move. Genuine <laughs> like he wasn't the shit, man. <laughs> Y'all used to be like, I <laughs> mean, hey. <laughs> same OG. <laughs> <laughs> that was he, like he had moves. He did. That was not a move. He was nice. he was he was like the nigga back then. Now nah, he's old and it looks ridiculous. Go ahead. It does. His he body, but his body is shaped dead. differently too. So to try but to he do don't those move moves. his back the same. He be mad stiff. Right. Right. I'm gonna that's tell you, what I'm saying. It don't. A, it don't look the same. It don't I'm hit the same. I'm gonna tell you who you don't want to see dance, and that's Wanye. Wanye be at the Boys to Men concert dancing his ass off. Dan, I mean, he. But he's not known for dancing. He's not. He's not, man. And that's why it's so weird when you see him doing this on stage. Like, nigga, that does not go to end of the road. What are you doing? <laughs> this for my boy is is very very. I, need to I can't even lie. Like those from Cisco and uh, Usher can still both do the same moves that they used Cisco. to. Cisco. Cisco can still dance the same way he used to dance. I ain't gonna lie, when that motherfucking broom dropped down on that genuine video, and that nigga was outside like doom 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 da, that was probably one of the most hardest. I'm from a city where niggas be jitting and dance, bro. That was probably one of the he hardest. Had this, he had the broom. He was like, yeah, <sighs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's back when he was with old girl. I feel like so late, so late. That's when he because so late was cold. I feel like that, that's when he lost his sauce when he left so late. Or, or when he started doing drugs, you know. Oh yeah, you know, drugs and so like one of those. Man, that that it, that live performance with TGT where they <laughs> that stays in my head. That lived rent free in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, you gotta look at Tank's face. <laughs> no, Tyrese, Tyrese, who Tyrese was like, he was like, <laughs> this nigga high, bro. But Tank was like. Wait, wait, I want to watch this. What is it? It's when they performed the live on, I forgot what morning It was a show. news station, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like Good Morning America. It was one of those news stations, see. and they were performing. And he was so drugged out, because that's when they was like TGT. Remember TGT? And he was on there fully drugged out. Oh. And they were just both, like, you know when no fucks are given anymore? They said, fuck work, fuck everything. And they just look at this nigga like, nigga! Really? <laughs> what was it? Oh, W L N Y's the couch. That's what it was. Oh, the the performance was called the couch. No, yeah, know. it was at, um, the show was called the couch that they did the performance on. They was like, "How much did you smoke?" He was like, "I smoked the same old." <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I fucked up. I had the same old. <laughs> hey, Meg, check your uh, DMs. Look. look. <laughs> Look at Terry's face. <laughs> Look at his leg. Look at the drugs kicking in. Look at the drugs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that nigga off a of perky, perky. He off the sun. Get hey, that perk tearing his ass up. Who's sharing their screen? Got all these goddamn tabs open. <laughs> <laughs> you focus on the wrong thing, man. You focus on the wrong thing. Let me see you what got you got open. All right, that's enough. That's, <laughs> that's enough. <laughs> that's put it to a vote. Hey, man, check your DMs. I got you, girl. I'm going to look. I'm going to look. All what right, so what, what we going with? Fart. No, no, no. I'd rather burp. Rather What's burp. worse? You said what's worse, so what would you rather do? Oh. If you'd rather do, I burp. If it's worse, it's fart. Which one is it to you? Which one is worse? Oh. Which one is worse? Yeah, which one? Oh, the fart is worse. Massage fart. 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 
Because what if it's in the first five minutes of like a two hour massage? <laughs> yeah, just leave now. Just leave. Keep <laughs> doing hey, it. The, 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 the nigga be that's... dead. You be like, hey, that, uh, you okay? <laughs> you gotta sage that room out after that fart, man. Yeah, yeah that whole out. All right, well, man, that's been another episode of Squadcast versus it's unanimous on the farts. It's worse. I want to thank the OG Squad for pulling up. <laughs> Uh, we got Max Scoop, Patrick Cloud, Lulu Gonzalez, CP, and of course, I'm to hear more. We appreciate y'all watching. Keep those suggestions coming, and we'll see y'all next week on another episode of Squadcast Versus. Peace, guys. <laughs>